Good morning, another hot day for us here in the Tennessee Valley, but before you know it, fall is going to be here. The cooler weather, a welcomed relief for sure, but with that comes the fall allergies. So lucky for us, Jess Fletcher is here, kept making a preemptive strike for all of us. She has AccuChat uh, here in town, and you specialize in helping people get rid of those allergies in just a matter of weeks, right? Yeah, absolutely. So is it a one size fits all? When you say allergies around here, that's a long list of possibilities. <laughs> so it's it's kind of like a customized one size fits all. What we wanna do is identify exactly which allergen is affecting each person. And from that, we can use it for any treatment. Okay, some basic ones mm -hmm. are the big culprits, dogs and cats, mm -hmm. but seasonal allergies you can treat yes. too. Yes, and it's a one-time treatment. So if you go through this program one time, the next several years, you don't have to go back and do shots again. You don't have to do new needles. You don't have to add herbs. You're pretty much good to go once you treat them. You've been talking about this off camera with me for yes. a while and then sometimes <laughs> on camera. And over the summer, a couple of months ago, you came with a client who had alpha gal. Yes. And his wife, I think, is the one who said, go see her. Mm -hmm. And he was kind of skeptical. He had lived with that for years. Yes. Had not eaten red meat for years. Three weeks later, he was good to go. Yeah. It's amazing how fast it goes. I actually had somebody yesterday, his wife told him about it at 9.45 a.m. And by one o'clock, we had the full treatment in. So he is so excited after nine years to eat meat. Wow. So, okay, I do want to kind of walk us back a little bit yeah. on the process here because it's not the only thing that you do at AccuChat. Correct. You're just wanting to help people enjoy that fall season because if they act now, they won't have the problems. Right, so the, the any allergy, it's better to treat before you're exposed to it. So if we're talking seasonals, like you want to do trees in the spring, grasses in the summer, and weeds in the fall. Um, so if you want to treat your fall allergies, if you're somebody with a ragweed allergy, for example, if you come in now, by the time fall hits, you're not going to have the allergy affecting you anymore. Okay, so let's just say it's probably fair to guess that 70% at least of people watching have had an allergy test done. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably, especially here. <laughs> and when, Yeah, so when it comes back, it is a laundry list mm -hmm. of things. I mean, there's more stuff you're allergic to than you even knew existed. True, yeah. So you're gonna treat the things that are essentially in season in the fall. Right, so the way we do seasonals, we have the top most popular in the area. So I think trees are the most with about 40 different trees that are super common. Grasses have about 15 and weeds are around 10. So we're gonna look at the ones that are most common by the different species of the plant. So you might be allergic to ragweeds, but there's actually seven different ragweeds. We have to figure out which one you're allergic to. So how do you do that? How do you do the figuring out? The scratch test? We don't do scratch tests. We actually do muscle testing. So we have a little vial, so you're never actually touching the allergy, but you're holding the vial, and that will help me muscle test to see if it weakens you, and that means you have a sensitivity or an allergy, which can be helped with this protocol. So without making you give away the Chick-fil-A secret <laughs> seasoning here, what is it that you're doing that's different from, I mean, most people are gonna think of pills or allergy mm -hmm. shots. So pills and allergy shots, one of the things is you have to keep doing them. They don't just fix it long-term. When we're putting this needle in, we're identifying which part of your body is active when you're exposed to the allergen, and we're saying, hey, this does not need to react and turning it off. It's like turning that little light switch down. So in a way, your muscles connect to your brain, right? Mm -hmm. So what, what you're doing, because they're these little tiny needles that you put in a person's ear. Yes. And they stay there. Yes. For three weeks. Three to four weeks, depending on what it is, but yes. Okay, so essentially, because I mean, they're tiny, mm -hmm. are they, are they in such points in your ear that it's sending signals or something to your... Yeah, so in Chinese medicine, the ear is basically a tiny body for your whole system. So you can treat pretty really? much anything from your, from your ear. Um, I usually like to do that in conjunction with full body acupuncture because I think you get a better result. But with allergy specifically, we see like the specific system that's active with an allergy response, a lot of it's immune related. And we're mm -hmm. saying, hey, like this is, a, this is not a thing that you need to turn on for. Mm -hmm. So we're hitting the off switch and we're kind of putting like a piece of tape over the off switch so it can't be turned back on for that three weeks and your body learns the habit to not turn it on with that allergen. Oh, it's just to, for a everyday uh, metaphor, it's kind of like not eating sugar for three weeks, you cut out the craving. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So if you were to do this, mm -hmm. you mentioned the immune issue, mm -hmm. 
does that then perhaps lead to other benefits that you're not expecting? A lot of times it does, right? So it, your body is one big system. So if you're not constantly fighting the allergen, then you're gonna have less pain overall because you can dedicate those resources to your inflammation and getting that down. You're gonna be healthier, get sick less because you're not fighting the allergen and the viruses that are going around. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna have better brain clarity because you're not so congested all the time. Mm -hmm. So you get a lot of side benefits with it. So when people come to you, forget the allergy <laughs> part of it for a minute, just life. Yeah. Uh, you buy a brand new car, it's great, but eventually it gets 100,000 miles on it. Right. That happens with us as we go through life. Unfortunately. But we don't always feel the 100,000 miles. So if you're feeling good today listening to you, mm -hmm. but somebody came to you, would you just do some kind of exam to still see where there might be a weakness here and there? Yeah, usually. So like going with the car, you don't really feel the 100,000 miles until you get closer to that 100,000 miles, right? Mm -hmm. You might put 60,000 miles in the car and not feel it, but then you hit that 70 and the, the switch flips and you're like, oh, things are starting to break down because you've put that wear and tear on your car the same way you put that wear and tear on your body. Right. So the sooner we can slow that down and kind of do repair and recovery for your body, the longer you're gonna go without feeling it. Life circumstances can mm -hmm. affect how Absolutely. you feel. So if you've been in a high stress situation, maybe it's a job, you switch, you have a new job, but you're still carrying that tension. Mm -hmm. Same premise, you can shut off the switch basically? We try to. So with tension and high stress, I like to do a protocol called Slay the Dragon. It's three days in a row, and it's basically a muscle and cell level reset. So it takes all that cell memory of the trauma and stress out and then lets your body clear it so that you can process it and move on. We hear all the time these kind of little catchphrases of the body can heal itself, mm -hmm. and, but we don't always know how. How right. do you help it heal itself? You're part of the how. Right. I always tell people like your body wants to heal. Sometimes it just needs a little bit of help and that's my job. So with the allergy testing, people mm -hmm. I'm sure are looking you up right now <laughs> and you'll see on there that you can make appointments online, which you mm -hmm. can, but not for the allergy because you've got right. to do some initial conversation. Right, so the allergy testing is a little bit more in depth. We need more time for it, so we need to set specific time. So you do have to call in for that appointment, uh, but it's a really quick call, I promise. And Amy will get you usually set up pretty quick. Uh, we'll schedule out your appointment, figure out what we're gonna be treating. And then when you come in, we're pretty much ready to go. So you're not wasting a lot of time in the Can office. Can I tease our plan for next month? Sure. Okay, so our plan for next month, you never know how things are gonna go. But we have a coworker here who has a friend, so completely objective. Mm -hmm. And this friend is allergic to cats, we have found out. And you don't know this, but she has six. Oh my six goodness. cats. So she can't really live in her own house. <laughs> so she's gonna come in, we think, and Jess is gonna do that allergy mm -hmm. uh, treatment on the air. And then she will walk away with those things in her ear for three to four weeks, and then we'll check in and see how her progress goes. Yeah, I'm really excited to see how she does. I love seeing people who are exposed and they can't help it and then get this treatment or like a whole new life right after. It is just so cool. So here's where you will find her. Her name is Jess Fletcher at AccuChat. They're right down on East Main Street. AccuChat.com. If you want to call uh, to see about the allergy testing, there's that number, 708-5651. Thanks. Barbara Mernan in the studio from In Town Gallery, a special day coming up that she'll tell us all about when we come back. Affordable dentures and